I always want to set it just above them to start with. There he is up there. He's a little bit further out than what I was looking for. Yeah, it's a good size crop. So there's another one. Feel like a pretty good one. Feel like a good one on that pine. Oh yeah. Slay up crappy. Slay up crappy. Come on, baby. I'm gonna just have to keep throwing around there until I hit the stump. Not using any front electronics or anything. Can't hardly wear them out. Oh, yeah, that's a big old bull of blue, bluegill, big one. See that there, buddy? Ain't that pretty? That's a pretty broom. Welcome back to AWF Outdoors. Today we're going to be tying a squirrel tail jig with a rubber body. I've been wanting to tie some of these jigs, so I looked on YouTube and found me some videos of how, how people tie the jig with a rubber body. And I'm just using uh, Kalen curly tail grubs, pinching the tail off of them. I'm using a number two wire hook made by Eagle Claw and we're going to be tying a 16th ounce jig with a red head. So today we're going to be using Tennessee Shad color, Kalen brand, and just modifying it some. So stick with us and I'll show you how I tied this jig. Also, if you enjoy the video, I appreciate you hitting that subscribe button for me and the notification bell so you don't miss the next one. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's get the tying the jig. Okay, I already got this one started, but what I did, I took a little fingernail polish, put on my hook shank, and then laid down a bed of thread. I'm gonna put a little bit more toward the front because that's where I'm gonna glue the rubber piece on. But I also went back to the back some too. I'm gonna kind of hold that back piece back too. All right, so I'm gonna pull that forward. Do a whip finish on it right quick, just hold that in place. And nip that, nip that off. Alright, what I've got here is a uh, Kalen's brand 2 inch curly tail uh, Tennessee Shad. It's kind of a green on one side, green fluorescent, or not fluorescent, but a, I don't know, kind of a turquoise looking green. Silver on the other side, it's got a clear tail with uh, some silver sparkle in it. And what I'm gonna do is cut this piece here off. I'm just gonna pinch it off with my fingernail. Just took that much off of it. I'm gonna take this off now and thread this. Just try to stay as center as you can. I'm gonna put a little bit more of that Clear nail glue up here on my head. That's going to allow that body to stick. I'm going to put the silver down on this one. All right. I'm going to pull this rubber piece up. I got a little pair of hemostats here. I'm going to slide that piece forward and clamp it off right there. Put a touch of glue there. Go ahead and get my thread started back again on the back part. I just want enough wraps so I can get it started because I've already laid down a bed of thread there. Clip off the excess. All right. What I'm going to use now is squirrel tail. This squirrel tail here has got a lot of white on the tips. I like that. So that's what we're going to use. Pull out about the amount that you want. If 
depends on how, how thick you want it, I guess. That looks about what I want. I'm going to cut that off. Stick it back up and clean that end up a little bit. Clean the end up a little bit on it. And then I'm going to come forward as much as I can. Don't go too far back with the thread because I want that rubber to cover all this up. for sure. Okay, I'm going to put me another dab of glue on that. Because they're going to pull that hair out of the end of it if you don't. This here will bond that hair and bond the rubber body back to that. And I'm going to slip this back off now. Do a few whip finishes on this. Cut the excess off. I'm gonna slide that rubber back. What you got? All ready. We've caught some nice crappie lately. After the spawn, they done lost all their eggs and lost lost a lot of weight, but we still catching some about a pound, three quarter, close to two pound. Um, we're gonna be back fishing for those uh, the, probably the next video. I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna be able to do a brown fishing video or um, the crappie again, but uh, it's gonna be one of the two on the next video, and that should be out this week sometime, so I'll be looking for that. I'll be using these jigs and trying them out. I don't have electronics on the front, so I'm probably just going to be just tight lining these jigs, make cast some of them on some crappie, and just see if we can't catch something with them. Looking forward to bringing you more content this week. I'm not sure if I'll go crappie fishing or bluegill fishing. we got the full moon on us now. Uh, actually, we got an eclipse going on tonight, a lunar eclipse. So if y'all y'all probably saw that on the news or somewhere, uh, but anyway, Brim's bedding, and I'm gonna get back on them too. Probably try these jigs. I think some of these Brim probably big enough I can catch them on these number two hooks. But anyway, we're gonna go do that and catch some more crappie. How many of you guys fish year round, and how many of you fish in the summer, or what is the best? What's your best season other than spawn? I mean, everybody loves fishing spawn. So leave me some comments. Uh, just tell me what you like, what kind of fishing you do. It'd be interesting to figure out what state y'all are in. I'm in central Alabama here, and, and I talk to a lot of you guys on there and really don't have any idea where you're even from. So, you know, if you don't mind, just leave a state on the comment or something, you know. Just be interested in seeing where you're from. Hit that subscribe button, and I thank y'all very much. It helps out tremendously. Uh, leave me some comments what you think about it or if there's any other color jig that you'd like to see tied uh, hit me up on there leave me a comment I've got some more jig tied videos so you can check out those too on the YouTube channel at AWF Outdoors so thank you again and I'll see you next time